take a look back over at the pole, but Renault Lavillani, here he is. This is his third attempt at 5 meters 70 in real trouble. At his opening height, the uh, undisputed world number one. That's better. That's better. Boy, putting himself under real pressure there. He passed at 540 and 555 the first two heights. And then, uncharacteristically, yeah, no wonder he puffs there with a huge sigh of relief. Pole vault, the bar now at 580. And uh, while we were concerned a little bit about Lavillini, he's still in this, having cleared third attempt at 570. And uh, Kendricks, been in great form. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, that crowd are really enjoying this, getting into the pole vault down the back straight there. They all came to see Lavillini, but with that shoulder injury, not sure what we're going to receive. But Holtstepper now, having had one failure at 580. The German starting to find some really good form. Ah, that's much better. Yes. Yes, he says. So he goes clear. Well, let's go back over to the uh, pole vault. The bar now at 5 meters 86. Renault Lavillani. He's had one failure. Not uh, the most perfect of afternoons for Lavillani, that's for sure. Oh, but he's way, way over that. Did you see the height of his arc? We'll try and take another look at it, but Renault Laville and either at 5.86, going clear at the second time of asking the first man to do so. And the Olympic champion from London. Oh, his centre of gravity, which is roughly around your navel, your tummy button, was way, way over that. There was big daylight between him and the bar. And uh, Laville and either at 5.86, setting a new season's best for him, and there's so much more to come, surely. Now, Kendricks, same height, no, no, and that's not close. And out he goes. Renault Lavillani then with the bar at 6.05. He's cleared 5.96. He has the competition won here at Hayward Field. The Olympic champion, the highest vaulter in history with his 6.16 indoors, going here for a new Diamond League record. It's a new meeting record as well if he clears it. Oh, first time! Yes! That is big. That is big from Lavillani, and he knows it. Absolutely perfect. And that, too, with a still a badly bruised and strapped shoulder from that fall in a French club meeting a couple of weeks back. He knows how significant that is. He moves up to equal second highest vaulter in history outdoors. This is Lavillani live. World record attempt. Second attempt. First attempt. A bit of a, a sighter. Trying to give himself. A little bit of time, maybe to concentrate a little bit more. What a return to form for La Villani. Six metres five, best in the world this year, obviously. Outdoors, this man ready to go. That was better, but he's still a long way off. Well, he's entertained them royal, royally down that back straight. King of the pole vault. Back over to the pole vault live now for this uh, a continued effort by Renault Lavillani to top the pile outdoors. He already holds the world indoor record. Remember, does Renault Lavillani? Sam Kendricks, by the way, finished in second place with the first time point at 580. And uh, Holtstepper, the German, who is world champion from Moscow, they're in 580 on the second time of asking, finishing in third. Lavillani is going to win this competition by several heights. But will it be with the supreme achievement? Third and final time at 616. Oh. No, and that looked a little tired. They weren't close, any of the three attempts. But he has entertained this crowd royally. 6.05 is special. I think that's a great performance, given how much she's missed. And, you know, that 6.5. Best mark seen here at Hayward Field. That was previously 6 metres 4, Brad Walker, back in 2008.